All right, moving on to the Chicago Bears. This is team fresh off a of bye, looking to kind of build onto something as they finish out the season. Everyone knew coming into the season, look, it was going to be a rebuilding year, especially when they traded Roquan Smith, when they traded Robert Quinn. You look at their cap space, $124 million plus, according to overthecap.com. This is a Bears team building for the future, trying to see what they have, to see what their roster is going to look like going forward. Mice, I know you've got some good news about some young stars on one side of the football that I think uh, is going to be great uh, news for Chicago Bears fans. Before oh, yeah. I hand it over to you, Bears fans, look, we're talking about defensive backs today. We want to know who is your favorite Chicago Bears defensive back of all time. Can't say Devin Hester. That's cheating. He's a kick returner. But there's a lot of great guys. Of course, Peanut Tillman. There's, you know, there's many others. I think Nathan Vasher. I know he was one of my favorites watching him for a number of years. I thought he was a pick six waiting to happen. But give us your favorite Bears defensive back in the comment section below. But, Miles, give us the latest out of Chicago. Yeah, Nick, there's a lot of good injury news on the horizon for the Chicago Bears. A lot of young stars are getting a little bit healthier, uh, mainly talking about uh, young safety. Uh, Kyler, or safety Jaquan Brisker and corner Kyler Gordon have cleared the concussion protocol, so that is very, very good news. Uh, Matt Eberflus said that it's going to be important that they do a good job of ramping them back up into play, so it sounds like in the near future, they will be getting some reps maybe on a little bit of a pitch count and getting back into the game. And also, Nick, uh, running back Khalil Herbert is set to make a return next week for the Bears. He obviously had a really solid start to the season. He put up a couple hundred yard games and he looked like a really nice player. So all three of those guys coming back for the Bears right at the right time, you know, getting them some good reps right at the end of the season going on into next season. And they have such a great plethora of draft picks that this team is going to be a completely different unit next year. They're going to look very, very strong, I believe. So this is really good news for the Bears, Nick. What do you think about this? Yeah, I agree 100% because one of the things you don't want to have happen when you're in a rebuilding mode like the Bears is you have key young players that you want to evaluate sitting on the sideline due to injuries or other reasons, right? Because you want to see if these guys can play. Look, I think Brisker is going to be a heck of a player. I think Gordon has already shown some flashes as well. But you need to give these guys reps, and you need to give these guys reps against quality competition. They're going to have a chance, obviously, this weekend against the Philadelphia Eagles, who are just unstoppable right now. We're going to see how good these DBs are this Sunday, and I'm really excited to see how they do. But they have other matches, right? They play the Bills obviously one of the better teams in the NFL. They play the Lions, one of the better offenses in the NFL. And then they wrap it all up against Kirk Cousins, Justin Jefferson, Dalvin Cook, and a very powerful Minnesota Vikings offense. So we're going to see how – that's a tough stretch. But you know what? This team's 3-10, and right? It's not like they're making making the playoffs this year anyway, right? That ship has sailed. At this point, you get a chance to evaluate how good these young guys actually are. Get them – you know, throw them in the fire a little bit, see how they react. And that's what I really want to see because one of the things I loved about Brisker specifically coming out of college, coming out of Penn State, is this dude was a competitor. He was a gamer. He always found a way to make big plays in big moments always stepped up to his level of competition. That's why I loved it when the Bears picked him up. I thought it was one of the better picks in the draft. I'm really excited to see what he does over the final month or so of the season against that top flight competition. I'm expecting him to step up big time. Yeah, Nick, and they need to because thinking about the DBs, this is a murderer's row of murderer's row of receivers they're going to be going up against. You got Philly, you got A.J. Brown, you got Devontae Smith, both stud receivers. The Bills, you got Stephon Diggs, who I personally think is probably like the best receiver in the NFL right now, or if not one of the best. Uh, Detroit Lions, got Amon Ross St. Brown, the sun god. He has been playing phenomenal this year for them. And Jamison Williams, the young burner, is going to be there uh, coming to make his second, or at that time it would be like his fourth start. Uh, but then Minnesota Vikings, another guy in contention for best receiver in the NFL right now. Justin Jefferson has been absolutely insane. So this is going to be a true test of how good these guys really are. And it is like an iron sharpens iron thing, Nick. You like your best to go up against their best. And I think this will be really good for the guys to develop, to go against some of these really top tier receivers, hone their skills and get a feel for what playing against the best of the best NFL receivers is all about. Yeah, agree. And one more point I want to see here is I think what you're seeing a lot here from Everflus and polls down the stretch from the GM position, they want to see if these young guys can play so that way they can decide what to do with their high draft pick. For example, they're likely going to end up at number two, in my opinion. Do they go after Will Anderson, right, who's obviously a phenomenal pass rushing talent in Alabama? 
But if they have issues in the secondary, let's say Brisker and Gordon can't step up. I don't think that is the issue. But if it does happen, maybe the Bears are more likely to trade back because then they say, hey, we got more holes than we think we need to fill. So these next four games are going to be huge for the Bears to make those kind of decisions. Do they get Will Anderson or a guy like that in the top three of the draft this coming season or this coming offseason? Or do they have to trade back because they have more holes to fill because it turns out Gordon and Brisker and some of these other guys aren't quite up to snuff? These next four games are going to answer that question for the Bears, and it's going to be huge for their future.